Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Jamco Review Show. I am at Mad Attacks on Twitter, and this is my trusty dusty sidekick, Adrian. Awesome. We do unboxing videos as well as reviews. Now, what sets us aside from the other ones is I have no idea. There's so many out there, but at least we'll try to make this as enjoyable as humanly possible. We do have a guest today. He's a little temperamental, but welcome. The Woogie Sonic Teenager. <laughs> so first box we have here for review is going to be Loot Crate, which were sort of the pioneers of this subscription-based boxes. So first off, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Loot Crate pin. Now, call me nostalgic, but I like the older pins only because I grew up on button pins and uh, I never really uh, had anything like this. Um, but I will say that I do commend them on following the, the whole enamel pin trend that started with the Marvel Collector Corpse as well as the Star Wars Bounty Box. So it's pretty cool detail. It's got a little zombie on there. I like that. Now I pre-opened this already only because they're a little tricky to get out of the, uh, the package. But uh, I got the Torch Zombie or the, the smoke zombie. And remember that episode when she goes, look at the flowers, you know, they're, they're trying to kill, she's trying to kill her sister, or she, she you know, Carol kills a little girl. Uh, this was in that episode, and it was one of my favorites. Uh, one of our favorite episodes. Moving forward, we have the Loot Crate Deadpool Q-Fig, which in the past they have done one with Batman, which we like, we put it on our shelves. Now, the reason why I like this one is because the detail is sick. What do you think of it? I think that's great. Well said. Well said. What else do you think? What else do you think? It's got a lot of detail, right? You got, he's obviously uh, being blown out of something or surviving an explosion. You got the smoke trail. It's a good resin casting, casted figure. I like it. You can put this in your office, your home office, your work office or your, your dorm and all that good stuff. It's really cool, I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's great. It looks yes. great. Yeah, it's awesome, right? You like the detail? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Now, the only thing I didn't really like were these ears. Now, we love The Walking Dead here, and we know that Daryl is infamous for wearing these, but the only issue I have is that they're made out of soap, and when you have things with soap, sometimes you have adverse reactions to certain you know, ingredients in soap. But I haven't been able to smell them. Can you smell it? Can you smell through the plastic? Not really, right? No. All right. And we do live in a cosplay-centric world, so it would have benefited more cosplayers to have something made out of plastic so as to not have the wax rub on you and stuff like that. Uh, I kind of didn't really like this. It's kind of gimmicky, in my opinion. Um, but definitely, definitely I love the nod to the whole dead theme. Overall, the dead theme is really... Uh, strong in this box. Now if you want to use this as, uh, as intended, like soap, which I hope you do, and I hope you do too, uh, buddy, you're still here. Let's go home, go do something. Go take a shower. Here, take these. Uh, now of course they have uh, a, a, a shirt, and now Loot Crate guarantees you a shirt every month. Now, red is not my color. But I like it. I like it and I'll tell you why. You know, Deadpool's the, the, the latest and greatest craze and it seems like uh, everyone has a Deadpool shirt out there. Uh, but the reason why I like this one, it, it has a really cool comic book feel to it and a comic book graphic. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, I like it very much. What's mine? Just joking. Now we will be grading this on a five out of five star type thing for this month since Brian Reynolds is Canadian, Deadpool is shot in Canada, and Nerd Block is from Canada. We're gonna go ahead and put up five maple leaves or or out of five maple leaves here somewhere. Our next box is Nerd Block. Nerd Block. Now this is the second experience I have with him uh, and I, I gotta say the first time wasn't all that great. I didn't really like their customer service and the stuff that was in the box was sort of gimmicky. Now, earlier I mentioned that I was able to look inside the Loot Crate box first. Now, this one's gonna be a total surprise. Ready for this? Here, do the honors. Open the box. What's in the box? Let's see if I know. 
So we do have a shirt, and I'll have to review the shirt last. Uh, mm, I don't necessarily see a Deadpool theme. I mean, there's two Deadpool items, the shirt and this little guy right here. I mean, it's cute, it's gimmicky, but if you noticed, if you received the Nerdblock newsletter, you would have seen that there was a picture of Deadpool, and then this is, it was talking about this Deadpool month. It's going to be chock full of Deadpool exclusives. I mean, yeah, this is cool, but if I was at a store and I saw this at a checkout, you know, they typically have these at the checkout stand. Uh, what do you think? Eh? Here we have the oven gloves, the power gloves, a nod to Nintendo. Now, if this is a Ready Player One box, which I can't wait, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of these guys is going to get get that once uh, Spielberg does his magic. Come on, this is an oven glove. What am I going to do, pull out my pizza bites with this? Uh, I, I just, I don't see anything Deadpool related to this, or, or any, any anything other than, than just gimmicks. This is another item where, like, if someone gave it to me for Christmas, yeah, I'd use it at one of our barbecues, but, I mean, I'm not even going to ask you. Your answer is... Right? All right, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. No, he doesn't talk. All he does is groan. What else is this? What else do we have? A Batman Glow in the Dark Mug. Now, I don't know if this is heat activated, because we've seen those in the past. Those are pretty darn awesome. Yeah, I love coffee. This is cool. But, I mean, once again, Batman, nothing to do with Deadpool. What do you think? Are you going to drink your, uh, your oval team in this? If it was Deadpool theme, you would? That's what I'm talking about. If it was Deadpool, as we were promised, sure, not a problem. This is, let me just put this box of shame, I guess I'm shaming you, a wine stopper. This is a wine stopper. Now, I don't know. I don't know, it's gimmicky. It's, it has nothing to do with anything that I like, and that's just me, I know this is opinion based. I mean, no offense, I know NerdBlock's Canadian, but here in America, we drink beer. It's a beer drinking country. Salute to the troops. What am I gonna do with this wine topper? This has nothing to do with Deadpool or, I mean, I don't like it. It's ridiculous. Now I do have a shirt left. I saved this for last. This is awesome. This is where it's at. This is awesome. This is cool. Everything else, could have got it out of Ross. If I would have known what the contents were in this box, maybe, maybe accept it as a gift, but by no means would I have bought this, and I regret it. Much like the first Nerf Block experience that I had, I regretted it. And that was actually, as a matter of fact, that was a Kevin Smith box, and uh, I got a set of stickers and a cute shirt. Not necessarily anything else related to Kevin Smith, but I mean, you're missing the mark, Nerf Block. I'm going to have to ding you some points, and you get half of a Canadian maple leaf. Okay, half. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, we have the Deadpool box from Marvel yes. Collector Corps. So far, how do you like the Marvel boxes? Uh, I like it good. You like it good? They are awesome. I'll tell you why. It's a themed box. It's a truly themed box where you don't have to mix and match different kitschy things or, or, or gimmicky little, you know, things and put them in a box. This is by far the closest thing we have to an actual themed subscription box. Bam! Right off the bat, I already know. I already know. Boom! We're gonna have a dope patch. Now, I've been putting these on my backpack for work. It's my work backpack. I keep all my stuff in there. And people, on a daily basis, tell me, where do I get these? They're so awesome. People love them. And uh, people stop me all the time, ask me where I get these, and I tell them straight up, you gotta subscribe. It's well worth the $25 plus tax and shipping, about 30 or wherever you are. But it's well worth the price. You're getting a ton of stuff. I love this patch. The detail on this is amazing. The detail, on, look at that. It looks like a page from a comic book. Earlier, I mentioned that Loot Crate came out with their enamel pins. Now, this is, uh, of course, the norm at this point. These are the Marvel Collector Corp uh, pins, and these are sturdy, they're hefty, I love the size, I love the detail. I put these on my lanyards when I go to conventions. You put these on in yours too, right? You have your own little collection as well, right? We'll definitely be wearing these collectively at uh, WonderCon, which is coming up in the month of March, which by the time this video posts, it should be March already. So, yes, excellent, love this. Boom! 
I like that. I like that. That's cool. It's a pop. It's I, and 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 I wonder if the rest of the comic book is gonna be in pop form. Like, is Deadpool gonna be uh, drawn as a pop throughout the whole um, comic? He loves comic books. I love comic books. We read comics together. If you want to encourage your child to read more, it teaches them, you know, story structure, story arcs, great animation. Uh, I usually tend to keep the shirt last, but I, I love it. I dig it. I dig the whole Funko cute vibey shirts. I, I, I wore the crap out of my Kylo Ren shirt when I got it. This is awesome. Now there are different variations. I believe there was a red, a blue, and a yellow. I may be wrong, but I know for sure there was a yellow one. But this is, what do you think? It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try not to wear it too much so that by the time you're my age, you'll be able to wear it. We do have this, and I know I was talking smack about nerd block, but that was one of two nerd block things. Uh, De I mean, Deadpool things that nerd block gave us. One of two, only two items, right? And they chose to give us a small little stuffed animal, right? So this right here is the Mopies. Awesome, I like it. It's the black variant, I love it, it's good. And had this been the only thing in a Deadpool box, I probably would have set something on fire already, right? Probably this. But this is cool, because you already got the comic book, the patch, the pin, the awesome shirt, and there's still more. So now we go with the dorps. This is awesome. I like this, I like this a lot. I really do. It's the cowboy variant. I think everyone got the co cowboy variant and he's holding a little pony, you know, the little pony um, straddle sticks. This is pretty cool. This is all right, I like this. I probably won't keep this. I'll probably give this to my youngest because he likes funny stuff like this. Wow. Oh, wow is right. I just lost my noodle. You just lost your noodle. Okay, you're special. What? It is the Deadpool Leaping variant. Now, I know all you're going to say is, oh, we keep getting different kinds of Deadpools. Oh, there's too many Deadpools out there. It's Deadpool month. The reason why I love it is because throughout the whole film, he's getting his butt kicked. He's, he's flying through the air. He's chopping people's heads off. And to that we give... Electric Corpse box, a whopping 5 out of 5 maple leaves. Boom. Boop. One thing I like to add about all these boxes that we do get, when we do get a, a pop from Blue Crate, right? You got the Han Solo one, that was awesome, right? And whenever Nerdblock does decide to send us some pop vinyl, it eliminates the flippers out there. I mean, people are still gonna go ahead and, and, and sell these online, eBay, Amazon, what have you. But it eliminates the, the, the stress of actually finding something. And this comes to you every month. So that I do thank you. Have anything to say to these fun young people out here on the YouTube and the Instagram and all that good stuff? You are great and subscribe for more. What? We didn't even write that. He freestyled that. We didn't even write that. Kudos, man. Good job. Boom. Jamco. Boom. Hasta la vista. That's right. Deadpool.